Jill Banks, that's some good news, but we know snowfall in the area today created a lot of headaches for drivers. With more than 100 car crashes just in Fayette County alone, emergency crews are working nonstop to clear the roadways. LEX 18's Alexa Hellwood kicks off our Storm Tracker team coverage. She joins us live now with a look at the roads. What do you see in Alexa? Hi, Kylan. Yeah, we've been out here on the roads for most of the night tonight, and I cannot believe how many accidents we've seen. We're driving right now on Shropshire Avenue, where you can see parts of the road are still covered, and it looks pretty icy. Driving here, the main roads looked clear, but a lot of parking lots were still covered. I talked with multiple people around Lexington today. Some say they even witnessed accidents, and now they just hope drivers will slow down. Winter weather has officially hit the area, and the snowfall mixed with freezing temperatures made for a messy commute today. The cold weather's here and the ice is here, so you just got to be aware of it and you got to slow down. And for many that were driving on Nicholasville Road tonight near Fayette Mall, traffic was atrocious. No, it was bumper to bumper the whole way down and back. After more than 100 collisions just in Fayette County today, drivers worry because others aren't slowing down. I saw one car down here off Manowar and it just kind of had, it, it actually slipped and went around the other cars on, on the shoulder because it was, I guess it was going too fast. And for Lexington police, they are working around the clock trying to help out with all of those collisions. Luckily, the vast, vast majority of them have been what we refer to as non-injury collisions where no one is injured. It is just a standard fender bender. Police are asking that if you don't need to be on the roads, just stay home. We are asking everyone to stay off of the roads right now unless an absolute emergency that right now we have a lot of folks out on the roadway who've been in collisions who are waiting for officers to get to them. We are calling in additional officers to try and deal with some of these collisions. And for some drivers out there, they're just planning on letting the road crews get their jobs done overnight and into the Sunday morning hours. We're going to stay home and sleep in, but um, I'm hoping everyone else out there is being safe. And another live look. We're out here driving around Shropshire Avenue as we're turning onto East 3rd Street. The roads look pretty clear, still partially covered more to the sides of the roads. Um, people are taking it pretty slow out here, and it's kind of died down. Not too much traffic right now. But as you see, it freezing temperatures overnight. The roads could get pretty slick, so take precautions, drive slowly. And Lexington police say that if you are involved in a non-injury collision and you don't need medical attention, it's okay to just exchange information with the other driver so you can get home as quickly as you can. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Back to you, Kylie. Alexa, thank you. Great information there. Interstate 75 southbound in Scott County was shut down as of about 745 tonight near the 134 mile marker. The Sheriff's Department reported all lanes were blocked after a semi truck jackknifed on the slick roads. It was too icy to let any traffic through. and We got calls and messages from drivers like Monica Hernandez stuck in the area for quite a while. The roads were expected to be closed through midnight so salt trucks could make their way to clear the hazardous conditions. Traffic was diverted to exit 136, Highway 25 South Southbound. Thankfully, though, no injuries were reported. And a viewer shared this video with us. It's on Big Hill near Jackson County. Emily Bird says she saw cars sliding down or barely moving to avoid crashing. Yikes, scary stuff there. She says it was really bad. It's safest just to not try to go up or down the hill.